Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. So, what you guys doing today? I'm just enjoying my afternoon. So, um, yeah, I have not brushed my hair. <laughs> um, like, yeah, Sue, so, I know it's weird. Like, I bet some days I do that though, because I really, I, I don't even need a brush sometimes. Because my hair is just like, I don't know, it just don't tangle unless I like get in the wind. So, I mean, like, I don't, I don't think I even used any styling product this week because I would wash my hair like once a week because I'm not like, I'm not like a big sweater and stuff. So, because I'm not human, I'm a mutant and <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I'm super human, so I don't need to do all that. No, I'm kidding. Um, just being ignorant, ignorant. Just thinking the day. I'm listening to some other uh, people uh, sing and uh, write music and stuff like that. So it seems like like more and more people, from what I noticed, are like writing music now. So I don't know. It's like um, I don't think it's just the internet. That's but the internet is a good way of spreading. New, uh, new, new culture and things like that. New information. Um, a lot of people, like especially girls nowadays, like I'm seeing more and more women write music. Like it's it's insane. It's crazy. So and it's just not like performers and uh, cabaret performers and. Uh, and I say cabaret because it could be in a nightclub or a, or a, um, a bar, you know what I mean? It's like, it's not like that. It's like, they're like writing your own original music and stuff like that. So I'm like, well, I mean, like, I'm thinking, like, what's really the point in me sharing some of mine? Like, if they're going to do, like, you know what I mean? Because it's my assumption that... If you have that many people, it's just congested. So it makes me want to share my music less and less. So I don't know. Like it's like you can only write so many lyrics before you're listening to somebody else's lyrics. And you're thinking, well, if they already said it their way, then why would somebody want to hear mine? I mean, like, what's the point? I'd rather just like, like hoard my music and then share it. Because it's just, there's just too many performers now. It's just like, there's just so many. My pumpkins are still happy little pumpkins. <laughs> They're so cute. I like pumpkin. It's so cute. It's yummy and it smells so pretty. They're such a pretty shade of orange. So pretty, so pretty, pretty, pretty. I love orange and black together. It's so pretty. Like black and gold's pretty too. Um, but yeah, it's like and it's like writing stories. It's like that whole. There's two biblical verses that come to mind. Um, with what I'm talking to you guys about, and that is, don't lay your pearls before swine, or they'll get trampled. Jesus said that personally. I forget which verse it was. I'm like terrible at remembering. Like. The numbers, like the verses, but I know what it is. And another one is, there hasn't been anything done that hasn't been done before. That brings that to mind, too. So, um, I think we're living in the end times. I do. Because there's, like, so many things, biblically, that Jesus is sharing with me. And it's like, there's no, I didn't know it before. There's no way I could have no, because Jesus personally tells me, God tells me too. And uh, Mary talks to me too. She tells me a lot of stuff too. She's rich in mercy. She gives a lot of mercy. And, um, like, because, like, when Jesus tells me something, I want to make sure that I'm not assuming things. Because I'm not really prophesying. I'm not, I, I wouldn't say I'm a prophet. Because I'm not, like, I'm not prophesying anything. Jesus likes his like telling me with words and like like scripture and like like I'm, I kid you not like words like 
will appear out of stuff. <laughs> it's like I'm thinking, okay, where is this coming from? Is this Jesus or the devil? Because uh, sometimes I do get like an attack from Satan on it. Um, but Satan, like the more you like, the more you walk with Jesus, and the more you walk with the Holy Spirit and and trust God, the more and more, um, the more obvious like some of the patterns and Satan's attacks and deceptions become. So um, I like my my walk with Jesus, as it were. Um, cause I'm fully married to the Lord. Um, there's not, there's not a man in the world, um, that I would want besides Jesus, not anyone. Uh, and there's just not anyone. And Satan can throw up some really, 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 um, pressing attacks because you have like the ones that are within this matrix like the flesh and blood attacks then you have the psychological slash uh, mental attacks then you have the um, like a demonic attack which can cause like physical illness migraines and uh, with the military and the Department of Defense and all that, the Pentagon and DARPA, um, they actually have like uh, ray guns and lasers and masers and um, all sorts of like different, you know, amplified light sources they use. So uh, it's all very real, all of this stuff. So. And uh, let me tell you something, if you're attacking the Holy Spirit or you're attacking the saints of Christ, the family of Christ, the saints are the family of Christ, they're family, we're all family, one way or another. If you're truly a Christian, if you're truly saved, or we are a consecrated, pure family, we are a pure bloodline. So, um... You attack the saints, you attack angels, you know what I mean? You try, you try to fight in heavenly places, you try to battle against God. Um, well, it can cause things like, you make you go out of your mind, for <laughs> one, because uh, uh, you just, you, that's not having sound conscience. God can, like, literally, so can Satan. They can strike you totally insane. Like, I've seen people that are, like, totally out of their freaking mind that are uh, Satanists. Um, and a lot of them, like, and this is no new trick, This they're, they're very, very good actors and liars. Um, and a lot of the times a good sign that you're, uh, that you're talking to a Satanist is they'll try to use emotional, like, guilt trips on it. and you'll think of weird like it's like it's a very weird feeling that you get it's like almost like you know like it's like a lyric of a song that totally gets stuck in your head over and over again that's satan like and you don't want it to be through that lyric and it's bothering you and you're trying to sleep and that's a satanic attack too because satan was the uh the musical director or whatever you want to call that um the angel that looked over music so, uh, that's a sign. Um, the more you see people altering their, their body, um, like getting their, the breasts worked on, getting tattoos all over them, getting piercings and ear gauging, um, doing, doing, doing steroids and, and trying to get really ripped for uh, bodybuilding, those are all signs of demonic oppression, demonic influence in your life. Um, simply because it's just, it's like, it's war symptoms. That's war, trauma causes things like that. Some sort of trauma causes that kind of stuff. 
And at one point, back back when I was totally ignorant you know, about a lot of things, you know, I just thought the world people were, people were good, basically. Um, a lot of some people aren't good, basically, because they're not of the same bloodline as Jesus. You know, you know, they they're not from God. Some people are the family of Satan, and um, it's really that whole you know, is it genetic? Is it nature versus nurture? Some people are born bad. Some people really are. I firmly believe that. And some genetic tests will prove that. Like, you, you dig deep enough in the DNA and RNA and um, you start to find out on the spiritual level, some people are what the Calvinistic doctrine would call uh, predestined for damnation. They're reprobate. There are people like that. It blows my mind because I'm saved. I don't understand, but um, some people are. So... Um, I don't know. There's just different things, different crosses we all have to bear. And not everybody who is apostate is going to like you. And, and I wouldn't want them to. I wouldn't want them to. Because uh, it's false. It's, it's baloney. Some people, like the only thing the devil loves are lies. No matter how good you try to dress them up, paint them up, refurbish them, they're just still lies. It's part of that big wheel of tribulation that just keeps on spinning around that same circular historic pattern. It's like, uh, I mean, some of the stuff might sound really impressive, like, oh, I wish I could make jokes like that, or... You know, I wish I had people that would, you know, like, actually, like, listen to some of the stuff that I have to say, too, because, like, you know, 10 years ago, like, what you're doing, I was doing, and you should, that was even popular. But I realized a lot of people, um, Satan has a plan for, for the end of time, and a plan for idolatry, because, let's face it, television is nothing more than a form of idolatry. It's a satanic altar, whether you want to admit it or not. It's like how many things that you see on TV are actually like, are actually holy. I mean, how many? How many things do you see on the internet that are holy? This is all like we're judging people. We are judging <laughs> for the great white judgment throne. We're like collecting information. Sure, the government has their, uh, their agents and their, um, their intel and all that, but so do the saints, so do the angels. So, kind of leave you scratching your head wondering why we're here. Um, I firmly believe that the earth, the earth that we live on is good and it has a soul and she has a mind. I believe the earth is a living, living being, a living creature. And I think that she feels the evil in the world. I think she feels the the pain of her children. You know, because let's face it, um, you know, the earth, like man and some of the animals were created from the dust of the earth. I mean, that's the earth. Like the earth isn't God. She you know, the earth knows who God is. The earth is you know, we live on the earth. Like and people wanting to go and live on other planets and things like that. It's not very realistic. I mean, honestly. It's not an Armageddon hits old baby. It doesn't matter what planet you're on, whether you're in a uh, spaceship, space shuttle. It doesn't matter if you're 20,000 leagues under the sea or, you know, living in a bunker somewhere in Antarctica with a little vault full of uh, <laughs> seeds so you can sustain yourself gonna hit it's gonna hit and it's um it, the one place you can't hide is in your mind you can't hide in your mind <laughs> not with the violation of the third temple that's you can't hide no you can't hide from good night from god you can't hide from the antichrist because he invades the mind technology and just the seals being broken you just can't blame technology everything is ordained through the almighty some way or another it's 
kind of scary and kind of deception many of us have uh, seen and is being alluded to through our entertainment and all that. If you want to call it entertainment, it's nothing more than propaganda as far as I'm concerned. So, um, just got to stay strong. I'm going to stay strong in these last times. I'm not putting out a message like, you all are going to be okay. This is for, uh, mine's not really for entertainment. I'm not <laughs> in entertaining people. This is just, um, It's like a pressure cooker, not this channel, but uh, this world to me, the foment of it, <laughs> it's like, it's like a sealed fryer or a pressure cooker. You put your rice in or you put your pot roast in, you put your carrots in your tomato sauce and then you put my paste mix it up. Lock it in the pressures, building up slowly and steadily. And Ten years later, two thousand years later, after Christ's death, you know, it's blown up. So, there's one lesson I've learned: better to be true to yourself. Always be true to yourself, even if you're a hunk of shit. Be true to yourself. Even if you are a worthless sinner, and that's the only kind of people that are evil, that are worthless for sinners, like the ones that are the family of Satan, that deliberately sow discord, and lies and propaganda, and steal and murder, and silence and oppress. Those are truly worthless people. Those are the ones that are meant for the fire. So I don't believe the whole that no one should perish. That's I think God said that to kind of really test the conscience. So always be true to yourself, people. Always be true to yourself. I'll always be true to myself. My biggest regret in life. My biggest regret in life is Not being even truer to myself. That's my biggest regret. Not being truer to myself. So, always gotta be the best you you can be. Don't ever try to be anyone else. Because eventually you're left with who you are inside. So, and it becomes more apparent as you get older. Especially when you gotta be quiet. To live with yourself. Um, what a world we live in right now. World. It'll get worse. For some, before it gets better. And. It's really good that you, to actually be able to love something pure. I love someone pure. It's really good. It really is. It's a wonderful feeling. That's my uh, my testimony for today. See ya.